Hey guys, Nick here. Just going to do an unboxing today. Now, I'm actually, I asked for your feedback in the last video if you like the more professional style B-roll footage or if you like the more hands-on. A lot of you did like the B-roll, but because so many of you also said you like the conversational flow, you like the just regular kind of hands-on look at it, I decided to do a little bit of both best of both worlds. Now, this actually just came in today from STM Bag, so what I'll do is I'm going to start doing unboxing again as soon as I receive the packages. That way you guys can get a kind of first hands-on look, and we can go ahead and just proceed from there. So let me know what you think about that. But like I said, this just arrived today. I'm not even quite sure what it is. Um, I just know I contacted the guys over at STM, and they said, sure, we'll send you some stuff out. And so here we here we go. Let me just go ahead and uh, start with this one. I'll set this to the side for now and just crack right into this. And yes, the package was already uncut. That's because I had a little bit of audio issues the first time. But this is the first time I'm actually cracking into the bag itself. So let's go ahead and set this to the side here and take a look. This is the uh, STM Micro, it looks like. It's just a, a vertical pouch here. Well, yeah, it's definitely a vertical pouch. There's quite a bit of stuff in here, actually. A few keyhole pockets, um, business card holder, uh, pouch for, that's actually quite a deep pouch, pouch for accessories. And that goes pretty deep in there. That actually goes all the way down to the bottom here. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at the, that's nice too. I like how the fact that they use the vertical flap here instead of the horizontal because with the vertical, even if this thing is full, you're still going to be able to get it shut there. So that's a nice little uh, feature there. A little key ring holder. And let's go ahead and actually, that's actually nice too. It actually will go ahead and flip over the strap so that won't get in the way. So let's go ahead and actually break into, hopefully if I can find the thing, this is a very busy bag with all the stuff still on it, uh, the iPad pouch itself. And yeah, that's exactly what it is. A little piece of silicone rubber jelly here. And not silicone jelly. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see if uh, this will actually fit. This is one of the thinner cases I have. This is an, an, an M Edge. Uh, I forget the actual technical name, but yeah, that'll fit right in there. Let's um, go ahead and get it pretty good in there. And the edges, yeah, the edges do come up pretty nicely around this. And the nice thing I like about this is, I mean, you guys see here's the zipper, but here's a little bit of protection as well. So if you do just have the naked iPad in here, you're not going to have metal against metal. It'll actually be rubbing right against this. So that's a nice little uh, addition they have there. And, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. You have a little pack back here for, I'd say, magazines. And fortunately, I just so luckily have a magazine right here. And will this fit a magazine? It, it's will kind of fit a magazine there we go you're gonna have to put it in binding last but i mean it will fit a magazine most of the way down so in overall pretty impressed with this already it definitely seems like it'll hold a decent amount of stuff it's not going to hold stuff like uh, a stand or a keyboard or anything but it will hold the necessities it'll hold a few, your kind of a nameplate it'll hold chargers a few pins and that's pretty much it. it'll hold a few cables nothing like a stand or anything so let's go ahead and get the iPad back out of here and take a look at the other one. And while I'm getting this other one out, I mean, let me know what you guys think about this. If you want me to do the unboxing, it's this conversational flow, and then the actual more uh, the B-roll style review. Uh, let me know because, I mean, really, your feedback is important to me. That's pretty much I try to keep you guys, please kind of try to keep you guys happy because, I mean, that's pretty much my goal. So let me uh, go ahead and crack into this one. This one seems a bit smaller, so I'm really interested to see this one. Yeah, this one looks like it's not really a bag. This looks like it's just a sleeve with a little bit of a additional added extras as well. Let me see if I can go ahead and just snap this off so it doesn't get in the way. This is the, yeah, this is just the STM iPad jacket. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this open here. And on the front, you have two pouches, actually. One right here that's pretty deep, actually. It comes all the, way, all the way down to here, so that would definitely be good for cables or uh, just a little headphone or something. It's not too big that you can fit too much into it, but it definitely is a nice size, and there's no zipper on that, so it just uh, flips right in there. There is a kind of a hidden zipper jacket here that this one is actually, this one goes all the way to the bottom. This pouch is huge. Uh, so pretty much the lining right here all the way around, it actually comes down right about here. So that's a nice size pouch as well. So let's go ahead and uh, just get the rest of the way into this. It actually zips all the way around. Oh, nice. And there's even a little pouch on the back. Let's go ahead and pull that magazine back out just to check size here. And a magazine won't fit, so I'm not quite sure what you'd put in there. Maybe something like vertical. 
But so I'm not quite sure what you'd be able to fit in there just because it's too small for a magazine. But a little binder there. Got a little strap and more of the little silicon beads. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take the iPad out of the case for this one. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. And I've got about two minutes left on my video here, so if it dies, I do apologize. And yeah, it looks like it's going to fit just barely. But this is one of uh, this is a definitely a, not a, the thinnest case in the world. But yeah, I mean that fits in there. It's nice. There's definitely a lot of cushioning on here. So, I mean, you guys can hear that's definitely padded a padded impact there. And the biggest thing I always have an issue with this is as soon as you get that the iPad in there, this I mean the easeability to get in here kind of gets taken away, and that's one thing that it's just, this pack is going to be no exception. So if you have something in the front pack here and you're using a case, make sure whatever you have in here, it's not <laughs> life or death to get into because it's not going to be an easy reach. This one, pretty much the same scenario. Let me go ahead and actually pull the iPad out of here and see if that helps it any. Wow, the, uh, that actually helps quite a bit having that three quarters there go almost all the way around. So yeah, I've got about a minute left on video. So if this dies, I'll go ahead and uh, plug in. And actually, what do you know? The cable to charge my camera is right below me and it's saying it's dying. So let's see if I can catch it right in time. And are we still going? Awesome, we're still going. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, pop this out of here. Oh, naked iPad. Check, how sweet is that? Music, music Skin sent that out to me. The review on that will be coming pretty quick. I'm also uh, using their screen shield. It's pretty nice here. Uh, but let's see how easy, oh wow, that goes in That goes in really super easy this way. And as you guys can tell, there's a lot of excess here, so you may want to use this with the case because that's kind of a lot of a room to be jostling around in there because, well, it seems pretty stable in there. Well, that's a lot. It definitely, it's, it's shaking a bit. And yes, I'm kind of a, just tossing my iPad around in there, but I feel comfortable. Okay, yeah, with just the iPad, this is much easier to get into. And this pocket really is quite deep. I mean, I can fit my entire hand. Yeah, this pocket goes all the way down here. I'm actually hitting my hand right now. So the pocket on the inside, that's pretty huge. Unfortunately, the actual, the opening for it isn't the biggest. So you're gonna have to have something kind of small to squeeze in there, but I mean, it's definitely doable. Uh, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the strap system here because that's a little di that's definitely a little different. Ah, I see how it works. So how the strap system on this works, let me go ahead. I hate zip ties. They're great for audio gear, but they can be a pain when you try to cut back through them. There we go. So how the clips work on this, I mean, they definitely don't seem like the most durable clips, but I noticed these earlier and didn't realize what they were for until just now. But you just go ahead and slide that through there, and then you just shut the pin in on top of it. And that's that pin's actually spring-loaded in there, so that's definitely a pretty nice, and it just clips right in there. And there's a little bit of a hook right there. But overall, guys, I mean, both these packs seem pretty uh, practical. Um, it's, it, neither of them are going to be really something you're going to be holding a lot of stuff in. This one's probably going to be more for just on-the-go, throw it in a, no, no, another backpack, or just carry it by the handle here. Now, one thing I don't like already is I really wish this handle would have a way to kind of uh, flatten out or just kind of go away because it just has that natural hump there that I'm not too fond of. So I wish they would have just left a little bit of opening right here to go ahead and punch that in. But I'll see how I like it. We'll see how it goes. And already, I mean, stitching on this is kind of kind of coming off already. But, I mean, ma no manufacturing products. Perfect. So let me go ahead and take a look at this for a couple weeks, guys. I'll get back with you. Um, let me know if you like this idea, the whole uh, doing the un the unboxing up front, more of the conversational flow, and then doing the uh, the actual overview review later on. But guys, this is Nick. Let me know your thoughts. This was the STM. Where did the tag go? The tag is the STM jacket and also the STM micro. Uh, so I'll take a look at these for a couple weeks, guys. Let you know my thoughts. Um, editing on my new style does take a bit longer, so bear with me. Um, it'll, it'll, it's just a little bit of a learning process, but guys, um, I'll let you know what I think about these. I'll get back to you here in a couple weeks, and I'll see you all later.